So you've probably seen all sorts of Jeep upgrades in our videos, right? But let's be real, Jeep owners aren't afraid to splash some cash. So check this out. There's this slick roof rack up for grabs, priced at a cool $1,536. It's like the Swiss army knife of racks, it can handle anything from camping gear to a snowmobile. This bad boy can handle up to 136 kilograms of dynamic load and a hefty 363 kilograms of static load. And here's the kicker, once it's installed, you get to pick how it extends. Pretty sweet, right? These roof racks are all made by LOD Off-Road right here in the good old USA. So, picture this. You're cruising in your whip, but deep down, you're daydreaming about soaring through the skies like you're piloting a jet. That's the vibe Neo's throwing down when they chat about their slick new Neo ET9 electric ride, about to hit the streets next year. This bad boy's packing a serious punch with a 707 horsepower engine and a hefty 120 kilowatt hour battery. But wait, there's more. They've souped up the suspension, and the Chinese marketing squad is going all out. I mean, check out that tower of champagne glasses chilling on the hood. Talk about swanky, right? And get this. They even showcase the car shaking off snow like it's got a mind of its own, busting out a little dance during a vibration test. It's almost like the car's tap dancing with its wheels. Now, we're not swimming in details about this fancy suspension, but we do know they've slapped on four independent hydraulic pumps, one for each wheel, plus some nifty active valve modules that react lightning fast, in just 5 milliseconds, to any road jitters. So, here's the scoop. One fine day, Matt Bean rolls up to grab a load of goods from a factory. When he pops open the truck's rear, what does he see? A hot mess of disorganized chaos. After tidying up, he gets the cargo loaded. But as he eyes the empty spaces on the truck's walls, a light bulb goes off. What a waste of space, he thinks. And that's where the magic happens. Matt dives into action and kicks off Built Right Industries. Now, they're churning out storage panels inspired by the Muller system. And let me tell you, they're crushing it. They've got sets tailored for rides like the Ford Ranger, going for $625 a pop. These panels? Tough as nails, made from 3.2 millimeters thick steel. And the best part? You can slap them on the truck's sides or rig them up inside. It's a game changer. Who needs charging stations when you've got the sun, right? Picture this. Slap on one of those EV solar kits onto your electric ride, and you're adding over 19 kilometers of range every single day. Plus, setting it up is a breeze. It'll only take you 20 minutes, and you don't need to be a pro. Just follow along with the video tutorial. Easy peasy. Now, here's the kicker. American manufacturers are gearing up to roll out panels for all the big electric car brands in the next few years. And they're not stopping there. They're tweaking the design for on-the-go charging too. As for the power specs, well, they're still ironing out the details, but there's a sweet YouTube promo floating around for a kit with a 6kW inverter and 2kW panels. Oh, and here's the best part. This upgrade won't mess with your warranty since you're not messing with the battery management system. It's a win-win, folks. LG just dropped the mic with the world's biggest car display coming in at a whopping 145 centimeters diagonal length. Picture this bad boy stretching from one end of the car to the other. They flaunted this beast at CES 2024, claiming it's the dawn of a new era. Talk about being trailblazers, right? But that's not all they brought to the table. LG also flexed with other displays, like this slick 81 centimeters model that bends and twists into something between a tablet and a laptop. And get this, they're even talking about fitting LG's creations into armrests and doors. Now, considering LG kicked off mass-producing OLED displays last year, which slurp up 40% less juice, this whole shift to a new era sounds pretty darn believable. Check this out. 
Bulgaria, Australia, and the UK might seem like an odd trio. But guess what? Companies from these places are all getting in on the action and building six-wheel Toyota Hilux trucks. And let me tell you, it's not just a fad, it's practical too. The Brits even went ahead and cooked up a fire version. Plus, the Hilux 6x6 won't break the bank like a similar Mercedes G-Class truck would. The Bulgarian tuning team even gave their six-wheel Toyota the playful nickname AMG for the poor. And get this, the Hilux 6x6 stretches over a meter and can haul about three tons of cargo. Now that's what I call impressive. Canada's been getting its usual heavy snowfall this year, especially out east. I mean, we're talking about snow drifts doubling in height overnight. Emergency declarations, schools shutting down, and roads turning into chaos, it's the same old song and dance. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. It's pretty cool seeing local businesses stepping up to tackle the challenges head-on. Snowed in roads? No sweat. Just swap out those regular wheels for these bad boys called Nord Track. The best part? No major modifications needed, and you can slap them on in about an hour. The makers claim these tracks will fit almost any four-wheel drive car, and even a Bobcat loader will do the trick. Sure, they're a bit on the pricey side, except for a Ford Bronco, which will run you around $12,600. But hey, they get the job done. With these tracks, you can go where the roads can't touch. Imagine this, a tight, cramped parking spot, a camping trailer, and a driver who's not exactly feeling like a pro behind the wheel. Sounds like the perfect recipe for a couple of hilarious YouTube videos, right? Well, it looks like the folks over at Purple Line in Australia have seen enough and decided to swoop in to save the day. They've come up with these genius units that spin the wheels of the trailer, all controlled remotely. Say goodbye to those stressful moments of messing with the rearview mirror and doing the back and forth dance a hundred times over. And let me tell you, it's not just a good idea, it actually works like a charm. With just a set of two units, you can effortlessly maneuver a single axle trailer weighing up to 2,250 kilograms. And the best part? This kit will only set you back $2,300. Now that's what I call a game changer. So if you're stuck with car seats that are neither heated nor ventilated, let me put you on to something called Sanctum. Made right here in the good old US of A, this system is your ticket out of discomfort. It fits most cars like a glove, and each seat upgrade will set you back $375. Now, before you dive in, here's the deal. The manufacturer recommends giving your seat material and filling a once-over. These babies need both perforation and high-flow mesh foam to do their job right. They work their magic using something called the Peltier effect, where two materials swap heat through an electric current. And hey, if you're not sure if Sanctum's a match for your ride, no sweat. Snap a pic of your seat and shoot it over to the manufacturer for some expert advice. Easy peasy. Check it out. We've got a couple of American squads paving their way to victory, and they're keeping it simple no frills attached. Instead of flashy gimmicks, they're all about those small but mighty moves. Take, for instance, this nifty folding model with steps 41 centimeters wide, courtesy of Rockslide Engineering. It'll run you about $550, but trust me, it's worth every penny. Easy to set up in just a couple of hours, and once it's up, you're bound to rack up those likes on social media. It's the little things, you know? Smitty Build Automotive is still riding high on their own creation. And get this, it's a steal at just 80 bucks. They've really won over the crowd, not only for how easy it is to slap on without drilling, but also for sneaking in some built-in bottle openers. Talk about multitasking, right?
You know how pickup trucks like the Ford F-150 aren't exactly built like big rigs, even though they're equipped for fifth wheels? Well, the electric F-150 Lightning can still haul a hefty four and a half ton trailer. But here's the kicker. Driving a pickup with a trailer is a whole different ball game. It's all about handling those vibrations, rough roads, and bumps. That's where the folks at Shocker Hitches come in clutch. They've got these hitches with extra pneumatics to tackle those challenges head on. These babies minimize vibrations, smooth out the ride, and keep the trailer from swaying all over the place, making your drive safer. And the best part? You can customize your hitch online with different mounting options and safety margins using their Easy Peasy Configurator. The basic fifth wheel can handle 5.4 tons, but if you need more powerful ones, they've got ones that can handle up to a whopping 13.6 tons, all for around $5 to $800. Talk about a game changer. Back in 2022, the crew over at General Motors pulled the curtain back on the third-gen Chevy Colorado. Turns out, the American experts went to town on this ride, making some serious upgrades. Let's talk about the tailgate, for instance. They gave it this fancy new name, Stowflex, Flex, and added in this sweet compartment that's a whopping 114 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters deep. The details were well thought out. For example, the compartment is watertight, but it's equipped with a drain. GM engineers are dropping hints that you could load it up with ice and turn it into a makeshift fridge. Plus, the Stowflex lid locks down tight, so your gear stays safe, even if you step away for a minute. Pretty nifty, don't you agree? Alright, so here's the deal. You know those fancy TV cameras the pros use? They're not cheap. Like, over 30 grand not cheap. That's why this mounting setup we're talking about doesn't come cheap either. Meet Hydra, the brainchild of this global company called Tilter. This bad boy can handle up to 100 kilograms and is all controlled remotely. Plus, with its shock absorbers and damping rack, you're getting that silky smooth picture quality. And get this, the suction cups? They're like the MVPs, especially in chilly weather. You could even flip the camera upside down, and it's gonna stay put. That's some seriously smart engineering right there. Now, here's the kicker. Hydra isn't feeding off Greek mythology, it's running on its own juice, with a battery life that'll last you a solid 8 hours. Over in China, the Trihomi crew has this nifty trick for selling folding beds. But hold up, it's not your run-of-the-mill sleeping pad. Nope, it's a game-changer for campers who like catching some Zs in their ride. Here's the deal, just fold down that front seat, and voila! You've got yourself a cozy bed with a height of 32 centimeters. Plenty of room to stretch out those legs, even all the way up to the windshield. In its basic version, this cot clocks in at 165 centimeters long and 56 centimeters wide. So hey, you might even squeeze two in the cabin if you're feeling cozy. And get this, the fabric is breathable and water-resistant, perfect for those outdoor adventures. And the price? A steal at just around 36 bucks. Not bad for a good night's sleep on the go, right? So, if that Chinese bed didn't quite grab your attention, We've got something even more intriguing from a US-based company, the Topper Tent. It's like a hardtop canopy that gives you the best of both worlds, open and closed beds, making your setup cozy as can be. Setting up this bad boy takes just a minute, and it's a breeze with Velcro hooks, straps, and buckles. The model designed for open beds, like those found on the Toyota Tacoma and the Ford Ranger, will run you about $310. Perfect for a comfy overnight stay for two, wouldn't you say? You know what's wild? Just about anyone can snag a pack of nails from the local hardware store. Throw in a pair of gloves, and suddenly, you've got yourself a thief starter kit. In this video, the girl shows how shockingly effective it can be, just a few seconds, and that glass is history, letting you snatch up whatever valuables are inside. But here's the kicker, if the car owners got smash and grab film installed, that thief's in for a rude awakening. Even with a hammer or gunshots, that glass ain't budging. Talk about a game changer, right? But it's a bummer, the manufacturing company's website seems to be on the fritz.